David and Meg, under Michigan safe storage law, gun owners are required to have their firearms unloaded and secured when children may be around. That could include putting a gun lock on it so that it can't be operated or putting it in a gun safe, which can in some cases be as easy as touching a phone. The first case under the safe storage law was here in Genesee County. That's correct. The yeah. very next day. Local leaders highlighting the importance of securing firearms on Gun Violence Awareness Day. Owning a weapon is a huge responsibility. Uh, likewise, properly securing or storing that weapon is a huge responsibility. Since Michigan's safe storage law went into effect February 13th, four people have been charged under the law in Genesee County. According to Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, the day after the law was passed, a three-year-old girl shot herself in the face, leaving her with critical injuries. And in May, a two-year-old boy was killed after he shot himself in the head. Little kids know how to find stuff. We had one just recently before the law went into effect where uh, the mother usually keeps it in the nightstand drawer, which is irresponsible, but she left it on top of the nightstand, which is further irresponsible. The child got his hand on the gun and blew off his finger. Authorities say those tragedies have an effect both on families and the community. It tears at my heart, it tears at the heart of the grizzled investigating officers who think they've seen it all. Those are the worst cases. I want to do what's necessary to pro properly protect my children, uh, and I feel as a police officer, it's our responsibility to properly protect the community and at least make these resources available so that homes and families can protect their, their, their loved ones. While Layton tells me it's still too early to measure the law's impact. The more guns that are responsibly secured, the fewer incidents of violence we're going to have, the fewer little kids are going to get their hands on guns and shoot themselves. He says the most important thing right now is to educate. The more people who hear this message, the more people that see this report, the less violence we're ultimately going to have. Layton says if you violate the law and someone dies as a result, you could face up to 15 years in prison. Reporting live in Flint, Zaino Mayor, WNEM TV5.